I had not planned on doing another video this year. I was going to relax, enjoy my December, and basically just, like most of you, drink and eat and be very happy about my life. And then somebody sent me this particular campaign. And I just couldn't resist because they are currently in the process of trying to raise funds. Let's start with the pitch video. It's only about a minute long, so suffer through it with me, will you? The miracle of graphene's skin rejuvenation. Graphene, the magical material that won the 2010 Nobel Prize in Physics. The Rosalie revolutionary beauty treatment stimulates skin and reverses aging. Graphene skin rejuvenation instrument utilizes the 5 to 15 millimeters for infrared light light wave released by graphene, resonates with skin cells and activates cellular water molecules, promotes cell metabolism, waste discharge, collagen fiber regeneration effectively tightens and softens skin, reduces blemishes for a younger look. The world's first large-scale single-layer graphene film production line with full intellectual property rights, beauty expert authoritative certification, reviewed by 100 experts. Beauty as natural and light as water. Refresh your beauty. Yes, according to them, wearing this mask will make you look prettier, more hydrated, and younger. Yeah. You also will look like Hannibal Lecter, I suppose. But let's really examine this quickly. Because, like I say, it's just started, and they are already got a whole dollar of that ridiculously low $5,000 flexible goal on Indiegogo. Remember, with a flexible goal, no matter how much money they raise, they're going to get that amount. So, who is Rossui? I'm going to pronounce it the way I think it should be. Rossui, official of San Francisco in the United States. Well... If you try to find them in San Francisco, you can't. No address, no telephone number, no idea of who they are in the U.S. There is, however, a Rossui in China, and they have a website where they talk about Airface and at least one other product supposedly made from graphene that they manufacture. So, going down through this particular campaign and looking at what they say, it's very true. Graphene is a Nobel Prize winning material from 2010, but about all kinds of beauty treatments for it, tightening and softening the skin, removing acne, so forth, the literature does not support this claim. I'll tell you why in just a moment. And again, here it is, the Air Face Graphene Skin Rejuvenation Treatment, where you can make all of your fantasies come true. Professor Shi, who graduated from the University of Michigan, well, who is Professor Shi? Man, woman, what was it that he is a professor of? Why is it that he's involved with this? You're never going to know from this campaign. Now they talk about graphene, and they give you this whole paragraph that you see right here. What they write here is absolutely true. They cribbed it off the internet. Everything, including the fact that it won a Nobel Prize. They did, however, misspell Andrew Gimes' name. And now, this trips our patented bullshit alert. It says right here, when graphene heats up, it will emit invisible infrared light. Due to the unique electrical and optical properties of graphene, the far infrared light with the wavelength of 5 to 15 nanometers is released. Let me clue you into something. Human bodies emit infrared waves because the human body, like an awful lot of things, is naturally warm. The graphene they're talking about is no exception. 
This ends our bullshit alert. If there may be more, let's go and see. Yep, here we go. Graphene activates the water in skin cells. Activates it to do what? Be water? What? No. This is total and unadulterated bullshit designed to press a cool factor trigger in the person looking at this particular campaign. Ah, uh, the product features. Well, the first one I can think of is that people will look at you and laugh uncontrollably. You will bring more humor into the world. So perhaps that's a good thing. They're claiming the moisture in the skin cells is activated by graphene's unique resonance, which moistens and revitalizes the cells. Oh no, here it comes again! Uh, I think I'll disable that so I won't have to look at it anymore. And it will create smaller pores. Sorry, gang. Your pores are generally going to be the same size no matter what. If they've been blocked by things that create things like blackheads and other types of waste material, the only thing that might make them shrink back down to their original size, well, getting rid of the waste material. There's an excellent material out there, by the way, that has been proven to do that. It's a combination. It's called soap and water. That same combination, by the way, will also diminish acne and blemishes. You don't need a graphene mask to make it happen. Smooth, fine lines. Well, yeah, sure it does. And I am the next Kaiser of Germany. In fact, I am something like 113th in line to become the next Kaiser of Germany if they're ever foolish enough to bring the title back. I look forward to being royalty again. <laughs> Nothing said. It speaks for itself. Oh. And look at the instructions. Drink water. Remove makeup by washing your face. Skin care products. And then put on the mask. Start it up. Oh, goody, goody, it's electric. <laughs> None of this has to do with the fact that we did the first three steps and then use the mask, right? <laughs> oh, and how they made it? Why, that's nothing more than stock footage, children. Yes, you would look like this at work, but you use this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't contain myself any longer. Anyone that has given these people or is going to give these people money is paying their stupid tax early. Of course, it's bogus, and in my opinion, it's definitely a scam, but at least it keeps these women happy, eh? Who cares what's in the box? And of course, they have to go through the risks and challenges because the crowdfunding platform theoretically makes them do it. Well, you can get an interface, but I'll tell you what, you are a special kind of stupid if you do. It is a place reserved exclusively in crowdfunding health.